Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome to SmackDown. We are live from Boston, Massachusetts, and we are beginning the night with AJ Styles, the cruiserweight champion. He will be taking on Kevin Owens. Hey, hey, we saw this on Monday Night Raw a couple weeks ago. Later tonight, we will be having a number one contenders match. D'Lo Brown will be taking on Hideo Itami. Winner will earn the $10,000 necessary to go on to SummerSlam. Loser will not. I have booked all of the matches that I would like to see at SummerSlam. I'm going to try to make them happen. We'll see what happens. But the seventh match at SummerSlam, that seventh slot, I have a couple of different ideas. What do I want to do? Do I want to let 2K16 book it? Do I want to do a hardcore championship match with Sami Zayn? Do I want to do a Raw guy versus a SmackDown guy? Hmm, a lot of interesting possibilities. We'll wait to see at SummerSlam what I decide. We also have had some additions and subtractions to the universe mode. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson have been added. They are making their debut tonight as the club and Adam Rose has been subtracted. AJ Styles flying over the top rope, taking out Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is a great test matchup before SummerSlam for the Cruiserweight Champion, AJ Styles. This was a great match on Monday Night Raw a couple weeks ago, and it was a great match today. Pop-up powerbomb by Kevin Owens, but not a three count. AJ Styles hitting the Styles Clash for three. AJ is ready for SummerSlam. The following matchup is between X-Pac and Fon Dongo. Neither of these wrestlers has a win. X-Pac is 0-4. Fandango is 0-2. Someone must win here tonight. After an awesome matchup, X-Pac Scoop Slam wins it for the three count. Horrible finish. Awesome match, though. I actually like these two. This was a great match. X-Pac getting his first win. Fandango falling to 0-3. The following matchup is an Extreme Rules Tornado tag team matchup. The Vaudevillains will be taking on The New Day. Kofi Kingston has built up quite a bankroll. He is sitting at 7 and 5. He's got like $29,000. Him and Big E have quite a bit of money. I'm wondering how I can get the tag teams to use that money in a productive way without giving them a title. The winners of these two matches will move on to next week's match where they will move on to the finals that will take place at SummerSlam. Again, I want to find out who's the toughest team of SmackDown. That's what we're looking for. Xavier Woods getting a ladder, vertical suplex onto the ladder, and he follows it up with a chair shot to Gotch. Poor Gotch is getting crushed by Xavier Woods on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside, Kofi Kingston is taking it to Aiden English. Boom drop, trouble in paradise. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, the New Day dominant winning this matchup very, very quickly, within three minutes. The VOD villains continue their losing streak. They're 0-3 now, and the New Day is looking quite dominant. Can they continue that through SummerSlam? The following matchup is the debut of the club. The club, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson taking on Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Jimmy flapjacked onto the stairs by Gallows. I've never seen superstars actually land on the stairs like Jimmy just did. It's awesome when that happens. I hope that's a mechanic they add into the game a little bit more. While following the flapjack, Gallows just beating Jimmy down with the stairs. Oh man, we get a choke slam and a super kick at the same time. The club and the Usos, who's going to come out on top? Carl Anderson going for the RKO to Jay, but it's only for two. Jeez, yeah, we had a crazy table spot here. Irish whip to Jey Uso, face first to the table. The table flew about 10 feet. God, he got a broken nose. Uso splash to Gallows for three. This was an awesome match. If it wasn't an Extreme Rules matchup, it would be a match of the year candidate. The club losing their debut matchup to the Usos. The Usos moving on in this Extreme Tournament. The following matchup is once again a match between Neville and the current light heavyweight champion, Austin 
Aries. These guys have had a series of matches. Austin Aries has lost them left and right. He won the important match at the pay-per-view, winning the title. Neville said it was a fluke, and now we're looking to see for sure is Austin Aries a fluke champion. Neville is eligible for SummerSlam with $15,000. That's eligibility right there. You only need $10,000. He will face Austin Aries for the final time at SummerSlam for the light heavyweight championship. The winner will be the champion. The loser will move on down the ladder. We get a cool combo here into a leg lock for Aries. That was fantastic. This is a great matchup. I love these two. Neville hitting a cutter. Goes to the top rope for a reverse 450 splash. I think that's what that's called. Reverse Frankensteiner from Neville, which I am renaming to the re-entry for three. Neville winning this matchup. And before SummerSlam, both superstars showing respect to one another. This is interesting. Neville thinking Austin Aries is a fluke champion, however, showing him respect as he's winning. I wonder what would happen if Austin Aries wins at the pay-per-view. Will the respect still be there between Neville and Austin Aries? That being said, we are ready for the main event. Lego. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in the main event of SmackDown. D'Lo Brown. He's got a win to face AJ Styles. He's got a tough competitor in Hideo Itami ahead of him. And it looks like AJ Styles is going to get a ringside seat here. D'Lo Brown at 3-1. Hideo Itami. Let me see if I have his stats. I did. Oh, yeah, I did. 3-3. Three and three, Both at 7,000. The winner of this matchup will face AJ Styles as the referee nearly got kicked in the face there. The winner of this matchup will go on to face AJ Styles at SummerSlam. I, of course, am cheering wholeheartedly for uh, for D'Lo Brown as he just powerbombed Hideo onto the turnbuckle. Jesus. This is what I love about D'Lo. He's a good guy who does necessary things to get the job done. I've always liked that about his character. Hideo Itami has had some very significant victories in this universe mode against bigger guys. I'm pretty sure he has beaten Braun Strowman before. Um, I, I can't... Maybe maybe Dean Ambrose once. Daniel Bryan, perhaps. He has three wins. He's 3-3. Three and three. It's a great record. It's worthy of a SummerSlam bout. This was a WWE 2K16 uh, booked match, so I decided to keep it. Of course, it's giving Hideo a huge opportunity here. If he can somehow upset D'Lo Brown, he will get that title shot. And with AJ Styles out here, I mean, it's almost a foregone conclusion that Hideo Itami is the advantageous superstar of the two. I'm not gonna lie. I really, really, really wanted to play as D'Lo Brown and give him the win just to have this rivalry finish up at SummerSlam. But that's not what this universe mode is about. That's what my universe mode would have been about last year, the year before that. This one is about 2K booking matches and me going, I, I agree, I agree. Sometimes I have to change it. But this is a situation where I just did not feel the need that I had to change it. Instead, give Hideo the opportunity. That's where the UFC proportion, uh, part of it comes in. Even though Conor McGregor is a huge draw, gains lots of money, if he loses to Nate Diaz, it sucks, but that's what happens. Hideo Tommy going to the top rope. He's going to look to fly here. Too late. D'Lo Brown already getting to his feet, but he goes anyway. Jesus, he just took out the ref. He just took out the referee. Hideo just took out the referee. Face buster to Hideo Itami. 
Wow, I have not seen the AI actually go for it when the other superstar is staggering. Tonight's been a great night. We've seen some WWE rivalries relived in this universe mode between the Extreme Rules tag teams, and man, those were awesome matches. X-Pac versus Fandango was an awesome match. Austin Aries and Neville was an awesome match. Even AJ Styles and Kevin Owens at the beginning of the night was a, a great, great match. D'Lo Brown just dropping Hideo. Hideo elbow to the gut, trying to work back here. Irish whip dropping Hideo into the corner, and now AJ Styles is getting lippy. He's the cruiserweight champion. He has everything to lose. Of course he's going to take it personal that D'Lo Brown wants the title. D'Lo Brown doesn't see Hideo. Hideo taking advantage. Smart shot to the nose of D'Lo Brown. AJ Styles loves it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was Hideo Itami in New Japan Pro Wrestling? If so, I'm sure he's had his run-ins with AJ Styles before. They know each other a little bit better than D'Lo would know either of these two. Uh, except D'Lo does know AJ quite a bit. So it would be an interesting matchup either way. D'Lo, of course, knowing AJ Styles from the TNA days. Oh, he could win by countout. That is a win. He would get the win. He wouldn't get the $10,000, which would suck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. D'Lo Brown taking it to the limit, doing whatever it takes to beat Hideo Itami here tonight. Oh, another face buster, this time to the outside. Referee counting. He's to a four count. Hideo Itami has been busted open. D'Lo Brown going to go in and he's going to rest here. D'Lo Brown bobbing that head. It's my favorite thing. I'm on episode 304 of the WWE Network. I think 305 now. And it's just so fun. Look at that. He caught Hideo. He caught Hideo. <laughs> what a leg drop from D'Lo Brown. I don't think that's going to be enough. One, two. Oh, a kick out. Yeah, Hideo still has his kip up. He might use it. I hope he doesn't because that would really put D'Lo at a disadvantage here. What is D'Lo going to do? Is he going to put him through a table? What's he doing? D'Lo Brown playing mind games with Hideo Itami. Hideo back in. Hideo hits him with a huge kick to the side of the face. Hideo now. Slapping him. Spinning back fist. Smart kick to the chest. Back heel kick to the gut. Those are damaging. If you don't think that they're damaging, just this past weekend, the UFC, there's a guy who hit that spinning back heel kick and got a KO. One, two, no. Jesus. Craziest thing I've ever seen. A guy just buckle holding his stomach and he fell over. Running leg lariat by Hideo Itami. Going for the win here. One, two, Oh, he got it. He got it, and he's bleeding, too. Damn. Damn. What a shame. What a shame. We do have another week uh, of SmackDown, so we'll see what the rivalry does. Because we might still be able to get D'Lo Brown in a match with AJ Styles. One thing we do know for certain is that Hideo Itami will be competing for the Cruiserweight Championship at SummerSlam. We just don't know the implications of how that's going to affect the rivalry between D'Lo Brown and AJ Styles. Damn, that leg kick finished it. Some disappointing finishes here tonight. But overall, one of my favorite SmackDowns yet that I've recorded. The matches were great. The stories were awesome. 
Hideo Itami's busted open, he's bleeding, and he's going to go for the cruiserweight gold in just a couple weeks. It's exciting. It's SmackDown. I can't wait for the brand split. I'm so, I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like on it. We're getting lazy. We're getting lazy on the likes. Come on now, it's super easy. All you gotta do is hit the thumb right at the beginning of the video. Even if it's a horrible video, at least give me a pity like. Come on, man. I'm like 24 years old and I still live with my mother. A pity like is damn well deserved on this SmackDown video. <laughs> oh my god. GG.